Welcome back to Pilates by Christine. Today we have another full body Pilates workout, no equipment needed. We'll work on progressing the levels for a few of the classical exercises we've been working on while creating flow through sequence building. You're welcome to modify any exercise to fit your needs. Let's start standing edge of your mat. Ground your feet to the floor. Inhale, arms raise out the sides, reach overhead. Forward dive, lengthening the body, flat back. Hold it about halfway. The first one always feels a little tight. Feel the stretch through the back of the legs. And roll down, find the floor, bending the knees into a little plie. And slowly candy cane roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling all the way to the top. Arms out to the T, raise overhead, fingers point to the ceiling. Forward dive, lengthen into a flat back. Already feeling a little looser on this one. Hold your flat back, reach those arms out strong, then release down to the mat. Hang like a rag doll. Bend the knees into a little plie. Straighten to slowly roll up, starting with the tailbone. Feel the arms heavy as you roll up through the ribs, stacking the shoulders, head over heart, heart over heels. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, flat back, dive forward. Even better this time, feeling looser. Release to the floor. Taking slow breaths. Maybe this time you can reach the floor without bending the knees. Then we roll up slowly. Thinking about each vertebrae. Stacking one over the other. Last time, reach up to the ceiling, point the fingers all the way to the sky. Little lift up and out of your body. Flat back forward. Hold it here, flat back. Releasing to the mat slowly and preparing to walk out to a plank. Take your time, you can hold the stretch. When you're ready, walk the hands out. High plank. Then lower the knees down and come to quadruped. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, scapular push-ups. You just drop the body down and press up. Lower the rib cage without bending the back. Press the floor away to pop up. Shoulder blades are wrapping around the rib cage. They come close together and then we push away. So think about this protraction pushing away and retraction, drawing the shoulder blades together. It's part stretch, part strengthen. Great exercise for our postural muscles and to strengthen for push-ups and planks. Let's lower to the elbows Take one foot out behind you, lift it off the floor and bend to 90 degrees at the knee. Hold it right here to find your alignment, then take circles out, drop the knee down, go away from the body up and in. 
down the middle, out the side and up. Hip and glute warm up. We're going to be doing lots of glutes today. So we're getting right into the warm up to get our rotations going. Back is flat. We've taken the pressure off the wrist so we can really concentrate on good hip rotations. Just pause in the middle, holding your bent knee kick. Make sure your hip hasn't hiked up. The pelvis is still in line. We're reversing the circles, same leg. Just reverse your circles this time. This way is usually a little trickier. We go out, down, in, and up. Out, down, in, up. We're well supported on those elbows. Helps resist twisting with a large base of support we've created. Last circle, then just hold that bent knee kick one more time and taking one breath before we straighten the leg back out, tap the toe to the floor, walk up to the hands. The bent knee is going to pull in a couple inches so you can pop the toe down and press the knee up into a supported plank. If you've been doing half planks, that's a great way to progress to a full plank. If you wanna do a full plank, just step the foot back and hold it here with me. We're staying for 30 seconds. We warmed up the shoulders, the hips, the abs. We stretched out our planks feeling good right now. You can lower the knees down, drop to the elbows and prepare for the hip warm up on the other side. Just kick the leg out, lift it up, bend the knee to 90. Foot feels like it wants to stomp the ceiling. Use those abs for control and stability through the core, through the whole trunk. Holding it here for 10 seconds, good alignment. And then we'll start these hip circles out, down, in, up. Outer thigh to hip flexor to inner thighs. Working all around the hip joint. Keeping that foot flexed, feel those hamstrings. Lifting away from the floor. Head straight, stays in line with the rest of the spine. Pause in the middle, check for alignment, then reverse your circles. Take it slower if you need to concentrate more on this direction. Almost there. Last circle around, down, out, up, in, kick the leg out, walk to the hands, supported plank option. Try that with me to start. We press up onto both toes, one knee is bent. You can stay here or you can complete your 30 second plank by stepping all the way out 
and holding it. 20 more seconds. Ready to lower to the knees. Walk back, swinging the feet around. Scoot to the middle of your mat and hug yourself into a little ball. Inhale, arms and legs both reach out. Exhale, tuck it all back into your ball. Inhale, reach the arms out, legs out to the sides of the mat, stretch the back, sit tall, and tuck it back into your little ball. Reach up, maybe bending forward slightly if you feel like your hamstrings are stretched out and you can get into a deeper stretch with that flat back. Tuck it in. Lengthen and reach out. Even separate those fingers as you reach. Feel the difference. Hug it in. Big reach up and stretch. One more time. Hug it in, little ball. And reach and hold. Look up to the ceiling. Who knew sitting here was so much work? Very good. Hug it into a little ball one more time. Then lower down to the elbows. Here's our shoulder stretch that we need to give ourselves. A little time here usually to let the shoulders open up. Do a baby combo with me. Pick up one foot, flex the toe. Hold it here in tabletop. We're going to point the toe to kick out straight and low. Hold it five seconds. Pressing through the elbows to stay lifted. Flex the toe, kick up parallel thighs. Holding five seconds, point the toe and one circle, slow out, down, and in. Switch sides. Holding that torso up, feel the shoulder blades draw towards each other. Kick the foot to tabletop with a flexed toe. Point and kick low. Flex and lift parallel thighs. Point and slow circle out, down, in, and tuck it in. Now our shoulders got their stretch, so we can press all the way up to the hands and do one more exercise here. Let's flex the feet again and do a half kick up and down. This motion is all at the knee joint. My hips stay fixed. I'm focusing on the quads, the top of the thigh, with these half kicks. If you wanna kick it a little higher, get closer to a straight leg, no problem. Just wanna get my quads warmed up. Get my back and shoulders stretched out. You can press yourself up to seated and then take a slow roll down to the mat. Place the hands by the sides. We're doing a short abs combination first. Wrap the hands, place them behind the head. March one foot to tabletop. It's a curl and kick, exhale to lift, kicking the foot out, 
tuck the knee to lower and switch. Kick and curl, tuck the knee, switch the legs. Kick and curl, knee tucks and switch. Kick and curl, knee tucks, switch. Just eight times with these. Two more, kick and curl, knee tuck, switch, kick and curl, knee tuck, and switch. Tabletop, both legs, knees over hips, flex and point the toes together, flex and point, flex, point. We're going to keep playing with these foot combos today with our abs. Now try to lift into a curl with the flexed toes and then point to lower. Flex and lift, point and lower. Flex, lift, point, lower. Just one extra layer of coordination. Not too bad. Flex, lift, point, lower. Flex, lift, point and lower. Pause. Try flexing and lifting, then kicking with your point now. Flex and lift, point to a double leg kick. Flex, curl, lower, kick. You can keep the knees and ankles together for stability. Flex, curl, point and kick. Last time, lower the feet down. Good job with that combo. Let's do an oblique exercise around the world. You lift up to one side, trace a circle around, lift to the other side, trace a circle. You can do this with the hands behind the head like I'm doing it, or if it helps you follow the direction better, you can straighten the arms up and follow the hands around. Just one side to the other. Keeping the feet firmly pressed to the mat, knees still. Last time around, lower yourself down and come to your first bridge combo with me. Press up and hold your shoulder bridge. Hands are at the sides of the body, palms down. Just hold this bridge about 10 seconds. Follow me as I walk you through a combo. Slowly lower down three, two, one. Press up one count, lower down one count. Reverse it, press slowly up. Three, two, one. Lower down, press up. Lower three, two, one. One bridge, up and down. Raise three, two, one. One bridge, down and up. You see the pattern? Lower three, two, one, press up, down, raise up, three, two, one, lower down, press up, three counts down, two, one, lift, lower, three counts up, two, one, lower, lift, we're almost there. Finish with three counts, down, down, and down. Kick one foot up, cross it over into a figure four. Next combo, we lift up the bottom leg into a figure four stretch. Feel a good hip stretch. Lower the foot back to the floor. Press into a single leg bridge. Hold it right here. Lower down, kick the leg back up. One circle out, 
down, exhale up. That's your combo. Try it again. Cross the foot over. Figure four stretch, bottom foot up. Hold the stretch. Lower the foot down into the bridge, single leg bridge. Press it up. Hold it here. Lower down, top leg kicks to the ceiling, out, circle it through, and up. Cross the foot over, try it. Full speed, we go up one, down two, press into the bridge, three, lower four, top leg kicks, out, down, exhale up, Cross it over again. Bottom foot lifts and lowers. Bridge, lift and down. Kick, circle out and up. Cross it over. Figure four, up and down. Bridge, up and down. Top leg kicks and circles out. Exhale up. Cross it over, good job. Lift and lower. Press, release, kick the foot up, circle it around, and place the foot down. Let's try the other side. Kick the foot up, cross it over. We'll do it two times slow, just like we did on the first side. So figure four stretch, hold it about five seconds. Then lower down, press into your bridge. Take it slower here. Lower down, kick the leg up, circle out, down, in, and up. One more time slow, cross the top foot, lift to the figure four stretch. Lower down, into the bridge. Lower down, kick the foot up. Circle out, try four more at tempo with me. Cross it over. Figure four, lift one. Foot down, two. Press, three. Lower, four. Kick five, around six, up, seven, cross, eight. Lift the bottom foot, one. Foot back down, two. Press into the bridge, three. Lower, four. Kick to the ceiling, five. Out and up, six and seven, cross, eight. Two more times. Last time we cross, lift the bottom foot, lower down, single leg bridge, lift, lower, kick up, out, in, and through. We did a big bridge combo today. We're gonna do one more, hold your bridge up, and just do arm circles eight times out for me to wrap up this combo. I had a request for bridges. So we got some in there. We'll do more this week. That one was a great way to do lots of bridges without overworking ourselves. So check and see how our progress was. We can lower down and then we can continue more glutes work. Next time, let's go to the side series. So roll up and take yourself to the side. We're crossing the top foot over today. Balance on the elbow, lift through the rib cage. This is an inner thigh exercise up and down with the top foot over. Try 12 kicks. It'll be a little smaller range of motion. 
since you're limited by that top leg, but you will feel it through those inner thighs. Torso stays up. Last kick up and down. Just pick up that top leg, place the toe on the inside of the knee, fold the hand behind the head, kick the leg up, straight leg down, ankles meet, then toe draws to the knee, kick up, lower down, draw it up, kick and lower, keep alignment through the torso, stay lifted, develop a kicks like a bicycle motion, basically. Last one, draw it in, kick straight, lower down, draw it back to that passe, rotate the knee over, the elbow's gonna come back, then we come up and repeat it. Rotate opposite directions, elbow and knee. Find the motion through the rib cage. So we're not just looking back or simply lowering the arm. Take that whole rib cage with you. Big stretch. I haven't done this one in forever. It feels so good. Last time, stretch away, lift back to center. Straighten the leg out and lower the hand down for support. Kick the leg up, fold in, front bicycle. We kick, swing through, bend behind, kick forward, swing through, and back eight times. Tuck and kick, press through. Tuck and kick, pause in the back, reverse bicycle, kick forward, bend through the middle. Kick forward, think about bringing the heel to the glute on the way back. Try not to just skip through the tuck portion. Use those glutes and hamstrings. Kick forward, tuck and stretch, press it through. Last time, lower the foot down. Tuck the knees in and switch sides. Starting with the inner thigh kick. Pick the top leg up, pull that foot in. All of our glute warm up exercises got our hips stretched out for these. So we kick up and down inner thighs, working hard 12 times. Three more, lift, two, one, Top leg, toe points inside of the knee, fold the arm, develop a straight leg up, lower down, ankles meet. Inhale to draw the leg up. Exhale, kick it out. Inhale up, exhale, kick. Our legs working, our glutes working, and our obliques working on the bottom side to keep us lifted, working through the shoulder. It becomes a full body exercise. One more develop a kick up, straighten out, back to passe for your rotations, lift that leg, rotate in, back to center, rotate over, you can use as much motion at the rib cage as you want. If you'd rather just focus on the leg, getting those hip rotations in, whatever works for you. 
It's a quick set though. Inhale, stretch back, exhale, wrap it around one more time. Inhale, stretch back, exhale, lift and rotate. Top leg comes to a bicycle kick, arm to the front of the body for support. Tuck and back, kick through, swoop the leg around, tuck and kick, stretch to circle back. Just a set of eight. One more time, tuck and kick through, stretch and back, pause here. So we stretch back, kick forward, tuck and press back. Fold that ankle towards the tailbone. Kick, swoop front. Straight leg, bends, kicks. Swing it through. Minimizing upper body movement. Last time, back and tap. Tuck in, press yourself up, come to your elbows one more time for me. Getting to some of our final sequences. Just lower to the elbows, lift the feet to tabletop, keep the ankles pressed together, open the knees, diamond legs, tap the feet down, lift the legs up. We have an external rotation at the hips, ankles touching, Tap and lift. Knees stay bent to 90 degrees. Back stays long. Ears right over the shoulders. Collarbone open. Two more times. Tap down. Exhale, lift. Tap down and lift knees together legs straight toes point to the ceiling keep the back long big circles out down in up v legs lower down exhale draw it up through the center it's a short set stay strong open down in, up, you can always drop to the back if you need to. We're doing some extra shoulder work. It's the last one right here, open to the V, kick out and down, in and up. Bend the legs, lower the feet down. We'll do a little bit of a press up to lower all the way to the back. Circle those arms out and around one time for me. Place the palms by the sides. Pick the feet up to tabletop. One exercise here. It's a corkscrew modified. So keeping the knees bent, we just do a circle around, back to the center, out, around, to the other side, and to the center. I'm drawing a circle one way, pausing in the middle, and circle the other way, pause in the middle. Eventually, we would want to lift the whole pelvis off the ground as we circle in and up, so you can add that little lift at the end. And then the last step would be straightening the legs all the way out. You can see how advanced this exercise gets. So practice the modified corkscrew with me. Keeping the knees bent, circling one direction, hugging it in, trying to lift the hips at the end. You can finish your corkscrews and then roll up and come over to a prone position. That just means Lay on your tummy. Get ready for a short back set. 
hover it up, locust pose, bring the arms out to the T, wave them back to the sides and lower down. Exhale, lift, open to the T, back to the sides, lower down. Combining a yoga pose here, that's the locust, and then coming out to the T, stretch back, Lower down three more times. Lift, wave the arms out, wrap back, release. Exhale to lift. Stay lifted as you open. Stay lifted as you wave back. Release last time. Exhale up. Inhale, wave. Exhale and lower down. One more exercise here. It's simple swimming, opposite arm and leg. Reach up, lifting the ribs with you. Lower down and switch, hold, switch, hold, switch, hold. You'll wanna stay lifted on these. Four more, three, two, one, good work. Lower yourself to the mat. That's our quick back series. We did lots of shoulders and back on our elbows, so we got to do a shorter set there. Push yourself up and we're gonna come to a Pilates push-up. Walk the hands back, stretch yourself up into a forward fold, peel up, bringing it all together right here. Inhale, arms raise overhead. Candy cane dive, so we're gonna curl down. Earlier we did a flat back down. Find the floor. Walk the hands out, high plank, lower into a push-up, then modification here is doing like a swan, pressing up slowly, keeping the knees on the floor, pressing back to child's pose, walking the hands in, pressing the feet flat, and rolling up, inhaling to the top. One more time, modified. Candy cane dive forward. Classical Pilates push-up sequence. Find the floor, walk the hands out, lower to a push-up. Relax the toes, lift, like you're pressing into swan, feel those abs kick in to press all the way back. Hips to heels like a child's pose. Walk the hands in, roll back, heels to the mat. Lift up, inhaling to the top. I'm gonna go to the full version. You can stay modified, three more to go. Dive forward. Inhale to walk out. Exhale, hold your quick plank. Inhale to lower. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lift and walk back. Exhale, quick stretch. Inhale to roll up. Two more times, exhale. Diving forward. Slow walk out, down to the push-up, press, lift the hips, walk back in. Everything comes together, arms, legs, abs, back, 
Final time, roll yourself up. Arms overhead. Exhale to dive forward. Inhale, slow walk out. Exhale to your plank. Inhale to lower. Exhale to press up. Fold the hips, walk the hands back. Let's just hold the stretch here. You don't need to stand up. Good job with your push-ups. Full body strength. That's how the classical Pilates workout finishes with our push-ups. Let's fold it back and do an arm stretch. Bring one arm across the body and hold it here. You made it through full 40 minutes. Lots of good combos today. Switch sides. Holding that stretch. Checking back in with your body. Reflecting on your workout, remembering what was challenging for you today. What felt the best for you today. Let's do one stretch up to the ceiling. Just reach up to the ceiling. Big breath in. Exhale out. Circle the arms through. Bending forward, keep the hips stretched back into child's pose. Relax the head. Palms rest gently on the mat. You did amazing today, as always. Thank you so much for being here and doing this for yourself. As always, let me know how it went in the comments below. I am here to support you. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a workout. I'll see you again tomorrow.